So <clears throat> today I'm going to tell you a story of the spun. Okay, uh, in the other day I made a video of eating spam and I got uh, a lot of comments, different comments. Some say it's quite, uh, it's uh, not a good food or something. And uh, anyway, here is the reason that uh, I eat the spam. First, because I am in Hawaii and spam is a very famous Hawaiian food. And the why so? I will tell you the, the history of it. Uh, what I am re, uh, telling this story may not be so accurate. You can check Wikipedia or some other information and, and find the true information about spam. Spam here is as much as I can say, okay, before you fall asleep. So we are in Hawaii, so we ate spam. That started from one of uh, my husband's colleagues is from Hawaii. And he or she said that uh, spam is very typical Hawaiian food. So when we arrived here, we first checked there are spams, so we bought one. And uh, <coughs> spam was um, a blended uh, processed meat put into a can. And uh, in, our, um, in our daily life, in, at least in my home, I do not have chance to eat it. And uh, just, this is almost my f maybe my first time to eat spam. And, uh, <coughs> Because of its uh, origin, or, or it is uh, because it's um, it's not the expensive food and it's a canned food, so it is uh, a kind of uh, uh, the 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 theme or the topic of urban jokes and uh, something that people regarded as a, as a low quality meat. And it is, it is a blend of, uh, of not the best quality part of meat. Spam was made by a company uh, that called Hormel. And Hormel, the tongue of making Spam, U.S. Spam was uh, in the, the lunch meat can was in East in Austin, Minnesota. The small little town was dedicated to spam production. And uh, in the early years, 19, 1920 or 1930-something, the company promoted this meat and had these uh, homel girls, homel girls and sing and dance to make commercials and promote this meat, promote their products. And later on, the, the, the band was disbanded. It's, uh, it's kind of like a hula, hula girl or something, just to promote it and become quite famous. And uh, spam was because uh, the U.S. troops go um, with the expansion of U.S. power in the Pacific Ocean, spam was introduced uh, outside U.S. And the military, it is a special military meat, and uh, the GIs, the military, the soldiers call it uh, uh, special army meat. S P special army A M meat special army meat and call it uh, ham that didn't pass the physics and there is another word that I forgot anyway it's not the best quality meat but it uh, goes with uh, with U S military so that at least they can eat meat goes with U S military. So there is uh, Philippines eating a lot of spam, 
and of course Hawaii eats a lot of spam and Guam uh, American uh, marine North Pacific marine territories or something eat a lot of spam and the highest consumption of spam is in Guam G-U-A-M that uh, 16 cans per person I don't know whether it's per day or per week or per month but I guess it's per year so <laughs> a lot of spam consumption in this area and Hawaii is one of the second biggest consumer of spam and uh, in these areas there are more flavors of spam the lunch meat than in mainland US and uh, spam what else do I want to say yes <clears throat> okay here is my own story about spam when I was young uh, we do not have any we, we, we live the life very simple uh, we lived in Beijing a big city but still we do not have uh, processed food because the processing industrialized food is expensive and canned food is uh, regarded as a delicacy or regarded as something that uh, that uh, a rare food we eat uh, I think it's organic because we do not have we cannot afford fertilizer fertilizer and uh, the um, the vegetables the, and the grains anything is uh, is grown without any any fertilizer it's just uh, very naturally not good looking and uh, so it is delicious it was delicious but if you eat something every day the same you do not feel that deliciousness do you know what i mean yes so eating something processed is kind of a very special treat for us and only when people getting sick or a special occasion or visiting relatives uh, we give uh, a canned food and in China it is called uh, this lunch meat and uh, I think maybe I have eaten one or two times that's from my grandmother people visiting and showing respect to my grandmother and give present and uh, we can we can uh, we can eat some so that's my my memory of of the Chinese version spam the lunch meat and uh, it was so special that uh, we my my grandmother developed her own version of this uh, lunch meat so we put some uh, <coughs> minced pork and egg and some spice and uh, blend it together and then uh, add some rice add some rice and then blend together and then steam it and it has a, a very good texture it like this lunch meat texture and we all loved it so this is my memory of this uh, this spam meat anyway uh, <clears throat> by eating this spam I checked uh, 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 I checked the Wikipedia and learned a little bit of uh, US history and learned a little bit of uh, all these things it's very interesting and uh, just recently Hawaiian food become quite famous in our area in San Francisco Bay Area so they opened a new restaurant and there was uh, a Hawaiian restaurant opened so we try that one and we really saw spam on the menu list of course we tried and uh, the owner of the shop told us that he was grown up with eating spam so this is why we eat spam and I do not know what is the next time we will eat it maybe when we visit another 
another Pacific island, such as、uh, Guam or Philippines.